It's my booktube anniversary. One year. Hi, my name is Jeanette and I want to thank you for joining me on the channel Jane Reads. So today I am celebrating my one year booktube anniversary. So I thought what best way to do a celebration? And I found a booktube anniversary tag and I thought well that's perfect it's a list of questions there are 14 questions I found this probably a couple months ago so I wrote down the questions and other than that I haven't really looked at it thought about it since so if I have to get up and get a book to answer a question or anything like that I'm gonna have to do that because I have not pre-prepared for this so let's just jump right into it Question number one is, what anniversary are you celebrating? I am celebrating one years. One year. <laughs> my post in my first video, March the 25th of 2022. And today is March the 25th of 2023. So one year. Question number two is, what genre or genres does your channel generally focus on? Generally, I focus on Christian fiction, primarily romantic suspense, contemporary romance, historical romance are kind of my top three genres. I do read other ones at times. I read some classics, some secular fiction, not a whole lot, but it's primarily Christian fiction. Number three. What are you most proud of on your channel in the last year? Most proud of. Hmm. Most proud of. I think just, um, hmm, most proud of. Well, I have to say I'm pretty proud that I did book nets this past Christmas. I don't know if I will do that again. It kind of was at the right season of my life. I had the time to do it. Um, but I'm really proud that I was able to do it and stuck through it. Um, that is probably kind of my most proud. And overall, I want to say like I've been able to stick to my posting schedule since I created it. And I'm very proud of that because I love schedules. And yeah, so I am proud that I've been able to do that. Question number four is, do you receive advanced reader copies to review? Yes. I don't receive a ton because I am very particular about what I request because I'm very fussy about what I read and or want to read my bookshelf down and not just physically. That's also including my Kindle. I'm trying to read through what I own. So I don't want to be reading a whole bunch of new ones and I don't want to request a bunch that what if I don't like them because I only want to give positive reviews. So I will only request books of authors that I know that I've really enjoyed in the past or ones I am really, really interested in. And that's kind of where I stick. I am trying to do a minute, like a maximum of one book a month for advanced reader copies, but I only have, I've read two so far this year, and I only have four so on my list for this year so far. So right now, like I'm on track for that. Um, now question number five is, what types of videos do you most like to do on your channel? I really enjoy doing tag videos. That's kind of my favorite type of video to do. I just sit down, answer questions, kind of pull books that meet the questions, that kind of thing. I really enjoy tag videos. Um, they're probably my favorite to do. I was going to go on to another, but it's probably a question further on, so I'm not going to answer that yet. Okay. Number six is what types of videos do you like to watch on other people's channels? I really enjoy watching reading vlogs. Um, I also really enjoy watching TBR games. And oh, I guess that is another one I really like to, I really like to do my TBR game. And my game is very simple compared to some other people's setup. And I really thought about changing it up to do that. But then I'm like, that's 
that's a lot of work to create that board and stuff but I really like that so yeah so I went back <laughs> into a question um, so going back to what do I like to watch as I said I really enjoy watching reading vlogs um, or just general vlogs and then they happen to talk about what book they're reading that those are my favorite to watch and the TBR games okay now question number seven is was there anything you tried on your channel last year that did not work um I don't know if it would say it didn't work but I'm hesitant to continue it this year um, because they're not my favorite types of videos to do period is I did series reviews last year where I talked about every book in that series and well I I really enjoy reading series I love to binge read series and read them back to back so I really enjoy kind of focusing on a series and promoting a series especially if I've enjoyed it however I don't think they were not the most watched videos for one thing uh, which is okay and then two is I wonder if I kind of gave away spoilers a little bit I'm not great at doing reviews and sharing um, without kind of going into it and especially when you're talking about book two or book three or book four and if the story carries on from book number one how much can you really share about book number four if the person hasn't read book number one so those are kind of the ones I think that I haven't done any this year I if I've read series I've just included them in my wrap-up videos so yeah um okay so that just I totally just combined question number eight with question number seven so question number eight is is there anything that you've done on your channel last year that you won't continue doing next year so that is the series review videos I don't really plan on continuing them I don't think if I get requested for them maybe I will but yeah I don't know okay number nine is there anything you plan to do more of next year I would love to do more vlogs I've really as I said I really enjoy watching vlogs and the few I've done I think I've done two maybe three two I think I've done two I really enjoy doing them but <laughs> I'm very hesitant about vlogging around other people so that's really kind of has put me kind of I I don't know about doing that because I, I just I feel really weird but that's just me right like I just I gotta get more comfortable doing it because I really enjoy and I look love looking back and seeing hey this is what I did that was fun let's do that right like yeah and you know so that's something that I really would like to improve at doing but I just I gotta get more confident at it um okay number 10 is there anything new that you plan to add to your channel this next year mm. at this time no not really but only because I haven't really thought about it a lot I've kind of been I don't know I want to say like I don't know I want to say I've kind of been in a channel slump the, the beginning of the year but not like I've been posting regularly kind of based on like what my schedule is kind of my normal routine so not really a slump but I haven't really been thinking of ideas and what do I want to do next like what can I add to my channel what what do people want to see um, so if you have any ideas of stuff that you would like to see or like me to share about I love it if you would comment in like leave that in the comments below and let me know because I'm totally open to adding something to my channel if you would like to see that I just need ideas <laughs> okay number 11 what are some of the challenges you faced on your channel mm -hmm. challenges well I I don't know I want to say 
Oh. I want to say this. This is kind of the first thing I think of, but it's also not hugely negative because I just, I also, I care, but I don't care because I'm not about the numbers. I'm doing this because I want to promote the books I'm reading that I enjoy. Um, but one of the kind of challenges is it's been a year now and I'm just under 350 subscribers. And when I see other cha channels, like new chan new Christian fiction booktube channels that start, you know, around the same time as me or just after me, and they're already at the five, six hundred thousand, like, and I'm just kind of like, oh, what am I doing wrong? What? Right? But I don't care. You have taken the time to watch this video, and I really appreciate whoever watches my videos. Like, I really do. I really, really do. And I, the nice thing about kind of having a smaller channel is in the comments, I'm able to keep up with all the comments and interact with the commenters and the people that take the time and I can take the time and respond. So I really enjoyed that side of it. So, and I think the big, I mean, a big thing that has been a huge support and I wouldn't be able to do this channel without her is my best friend edits all my videos for me. I have no idea how to do that and I really have no desire to figure out how to do that. And just, I'd rather spend my time reading and then talking about what I've read. And she loves doing that. And it's kind of our way to talk to one another as well. And like, I mean, obviously we talk besides on the video, but yeah, but I couldn't do this without her. And I don't want to, I don't know, yeah. I'm going to leave it at that because that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah. Uh, question number 12 is what equipment do you use to film your videos? Okay. So I use my old cell phone. I started with just using my cell phone and then I upgraded my cell phone to a new one. So I was able to dedicate my old one to filming. So then I have my current one that I can still use and look up things. And so it's been very convenient that way, especially with questions, things like that. And so I just have my phone hooked up on a tripod. And then I did ask my mom for Christmas for some photography lights because I film in my basement when my husband has gone already gone to bed. So in the evening and so our basement is kind of dark. I don't have daytime light, obviously. And so I needed some lighting. So that's kind of just a very basic setup. And yeah, you may, you may get kind of a behind the scenes look a little bit in a video coming up because I am redoing a little bit of my setup for my area and I'm going to try to vlog it, but as I said, I'm not great at vlogs, so we'll see how that goes. So you may or may not see the way it's set up. So yeah, just very basic cell phone, tripod, and then lights off to the side. Number 13, what is your one best piece of advice you can give to another booktuber? I think of the Nike saying, just do it, just do it. There is a niche out there for you. People will kind of tune into you if they like you and you will fit in with somebody and your opinion counts. And there will be somebody you will click with and just there's so many booktubers right now. There is a lot of booktubers, but there's not a ton of Christian fiction ones. I mean, there's quite a few, but there could be more. Let's promote this genre. Let's have people reading clean fiction. And they're great in the comments. I have a no problems with comments and the people that take the time to comment. I love getting to know. And if I was more socially in tune, I would keep up with my Instagram a little bit more because I really enjoy inter interacting with the people on there 
and kind of getting to know them. And I have really kind of formed a friendship with a few of them just from watching videos and talking to them in the comments and then talking to them on Instagram and stuff. I've made new friends in the last year, which is awesome. And the support and just the love that I felt is great. So yes, just do it. Just share your thoughts. And if there's a book that you enjoy, talk about it. Yeah, that, that's it. Just, just do it. Okay, so number 14. Uh -huh. Again, I combined an answer without even realizing it. What is the best part of having a booktube channel? Getting to know people. Yeah. I can think of a couple, the couple subscribers and a couple other booktubers that I felt really connected with and have really enjoyed interacting with and getting to know over this time and I'd love to get to know them even more. So yeah, that is totally the best part. And I keep finding new books. I have added so many books to my wish list just from watching booktube or recommendations that have been left in my comments, like the from people commenting on my videos. So yeah, that's probably the best thing. So that is the booktube anniversary tag. And those are all the questions. So I didn't even have to grab any books. Hey, I didn't even have to move. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you're subscribed I want to thank you very much for subscribing and taking the time to watch my videos and if you are a commenter I love it when you comment and I want to thank you. I really appreciate you Yeah, so that's it and if you haven't watched any of my videos I would love it if you go back and watch some of the videos I have um, favorite authors for different genres. I have book re recommendation videos. As I said, I've done a couple vlogs. Um, I've done the series review videos and I've done a bunch of tag videos. Um, I think those are kind of the primary ones, but yeah, there's quite a, I've done quite a few videos over the last year. I try to do five videos a month. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Six videos a month. See, I don't even know. <laughs> so I try to do six videos a month. I post on the 5th, the 10th, the 15th, the 20th, the 25th, and the 30th. And I try to keep to a, the same schedule as much as I can. So yeah, I would love it if you would join the family here and... Yeah, I have nothing else to say right now other than I appreciate you for taking the time. Thank you. Bye.